What is up YouTube? Welcome to another episode of Twin Turbo. We are going to be installing the long past due oil catch can. What is an oil catch can? Why are we putting it on? Do you need it? And is there a better alternative instead of an oil catch can? We're gonna answer all those questions and also we're gonna do an install video. The one that I went with was the Mishimoto Direct Fit. I've seen enough videos guys where every thousand miles there's like 10 milliliters of oil contamination and fuel and the reason why you want an oil catch can especially on a direct injection motor because it is exactly how it sounds fuel is being sprayed directly into the cylinder now this type of engine is great for power and tuning capabilities for the air fuel ratio but there is a drawback and that drawback is excessive carbon buildup and trust me, I've seen enough photos of Kia Stingers in particularly with 20,000 miles on them, 30,000 miles without a catch can. And these Stingers weren't even modded and the buildup of carbon was insane. And to my knowledge, the only way to really get that off there is to like walnut blast it. Have an oil catch can if you don't have one it'd be a good time to go ahead and hit the subscribe button because i'm announcing a 1000 subscriber giveaway challenge the winner your odds are one in 1000 not too bad when you compare it to a scratch off right everyone's like hey oil catch can heck yeah and i don't blame you oh i'm missing a couple wrenches here so uh looking at the instructions from mishimoto's website We'll need a seven mil socket, a 10, 14, and 17 millimeter wrench, two and a half mil Allen key, quarter inch drive, and, and some pliers. So I'm gonna attempt to install this at the park. I know I gotta let the engine cool off a little bit. Ultimately guys, the WMI kit, the water meth injection, is the best possible scenario to clean and prevent carbon buildup on the valves. Methanol is a very powerful cleaning agent and better than gasoline. But the best thing about that situation is with water meth, you are getting added power. See, the catch can is a preventative maintenance thing, right? And people ask like, well, if it's so important on the GDI, you know, the direct injection platforms, why don't the manufacturers just go ahead and put one on there, right? It's a great valid question, but it is it is a maintenance item, right? They have a hard enough time getting people just to change their oil. And if you do have an oil catch can and you just never do nothing, right? You never check it or empty out the contents inside, you're gonna have a, a worse situation than you started with not having one. Direct injection engines just have a lot of pressure and it's what they call blow by. So there'll be so much pressure in, in the cylinder that it bypasses the piston rings, goes up into the crankcase. I have the PCV valve, which is like a pressure crankcase valve. It releases the pressure because you don't want pressure, right? You want vacuum. So, you know, with that valve, what's happening is, is there's a hose there on the on the PCV valve on the on the crankcase to help it ventilate but their engineering aspect is like, well, let's just reroute that hose into the intake and have the engine burn up everything that's, you know, blown by. But the problem with that is the fuel, water, contaminants, oil, all that stuff that gets in there hitting into the engine and that's what causes the carbon buildup on the valves. And, you know, the downfall of that is you're you're gonna be losing power, right? You're gonna lose power. It's not gonna be as efficient. Things aren't gonna be working is as good when there's twin turbos on a direct injection there's even more pressure and and then on top of that if you're going to tune your car i mean dude it is a no-brainer the guys you guys that are running um jb4s and you know you have the setup i have on this car that's why I'm, i've been in my other videos i'm like you have to practice i have to practice what i preach because i've gone seven thousand miles and 7,000 miles in this car with the way I drove it, I would fill up this Mishimoto catch can easily once and maybe some. If you're gonna go the oil catch can route and you're not going to do water meth injection, invest in a really good one, right? I got one here. So Mishimoto is in a phenomenal brand, high end, high quality, okay? You want a filter or a catch can, I should say, with a filter, a bronze filter. I think I was reading this one's like a 50 micron filter, 
bronze filter and this is the first time I've looked at it but this is what it looks like it's not huge you can check it like every 6,000 miles and, and empty it out put it that way I'm gonna check it every thousand to two thousand miles and give you guys an update until we get to the water meth injection threads are beautiful great size as you can see there's the the baffles and then there's the the bronze micron filter not the biggest catch can right so again if you're not going to go water meth in the future i would invest probably in the add one version three it's like a dual baffle catch can comment below which ones you guys have and how you like them also comment below if you have water meth injection with the jb4 and when you did that is the power difference like substantial is it like a butt dyno do you really feel it or you know i want to know more about it looks like there's a drain plug at the end you can take out a allen socket there you have your in your out it's really simple there are a couple more items in the bag they include these you do they do have like o-rings so you're going to want to put a little bit of oil on these on the o-rings before you put everything back on and on the o-rings onto the valves that we're going to install on there not with this car so i'm going to run in here grab the tools i need I need to stop back by the house and grab my allen keys and then go to the park let it cool off then we're going to install this bad boy first things first let's go ahead and get this pcv hose off here there's a there's a side right here that we're going to grab right there and then same thing on the bottom we're going to remove this so next what we're going to do is we're going to loosen this up like this just bring it up this is part of the strut tower and then right here there there's already like a little stud sticking out so we're going to put the provided spacer and then we're going to go ahead and fit the catch can bracket which is right there we're going to go ahead and fit that there so she looks like that she's on there good she ain't going nowhere so after that what we're going to do now is we are just going to lubricate all of these o-rings you can use oil whatever lubrication that you have you can just rub a little bit around here the threads on this is, are really nice so i wouldn't trip about anything um the instructions did say that there see on the catch can there's an out and an in on the out we're going to use the larger fitting as you can see that's the larger one all right, and just like that, it's all looped up. Pretty pretty simple stuff here, guys. Obviously, I'm doing this in the parking lot, so it's, yeah, it's that easy. But everything's looped up. We need to make sure these are tight. The last thing you want is any sort of leakage in an engine like this that puts out a ton of heat, you want, especially dripping down there. Um, yeah, that could cause a fire. We have our catch can assembled pretty much. This is where the 2.5 millimeter Allen key is going to come in play. We need to remove these. And as you can see, there's a spot for those. It's gonna go right up underneath it. And then we're gonna take those Allen keys, put them back on, and that'll keep the catch can in place. So that's about what it's looking like right now. I just finger tighten these down for now because it looks like we have a little bit of adjustment room. I want it just to be the most natural fit as possible. So let's do this for now we are almost done i'm not going to go in raw i'm going to lube this uh the pcv valve there and the one at the bottom and then also the ones on the catch can just to make it a little bit smoother for these to go on check this fitting out dude they got that down to the science all right and it's that easy in the parking lot the fitment's perfect what i do recommend though uh leave those hand tightened guys once you get the hoses tightened down really good this will just kind of fall in place naturally where it wants to rest and then that's when i went ahead and tightened these down really good keep in mind they are 2.5 millimeter allen keys so you don't want to go too crazy on them but yeah that's it let's start it up yeah so i feel so much better with this being on there now guys again we're at what what are we at now 71.59 miles that is just way too long. If you got one of these cars, make sure you have one installed, all right? And if, you know, if you're buying one and there's not one on there, definitely get one as soon as possible, okay? Because the intake valve cleaner, you know, fuel injector cleaner, stuff like that, it's just not going to work. The ultimate solution to get all that carbon off the valve would be walnut blasting. Um, 
or you can go water methanol injection that's what i'm going to do but this is a good temporary hold until we get to that stage so go ahead and hit a like and subscribe help me out so we can keep building this car together oh yeah thumbs up if you want to do me to do an exhaust video full-blown exhaust flybys you know the whole nine yards revs gurgles pops if i can get them map four definitely behaves differently um with the gurgles they're much more aggressive for sure i'm going to be doing a giveaway i want to do a 1000 subscriber challenge giveaway so let everybody know all you have to do is subscribe to the youtube channel smash the like button and take a screenshot right take a screenshot showing me that you subscribed then twin turbo again on instagram go to twin turbo on instagram follow me there and then just dm me the screenshot saying hey i subscribed that's all you have to do and once i hit a thousand subscribers i'm going to do a giveaway for oil catch can and it'll be mishimoto i don't want people waiting around forever so i know this will be easy with the amount of views and the growth this channel has had with such a short amount of time um i think this will be a good way to expedite that so let's do that and then i'll announce the giveaway you know once we do the randomizer so okay so we did something good for the car today again definitely smash the like button and leave those comments down below about the water methanol and the uh, you know if you have an oil catch can if you don't have one it'd be a good time to go ahead and hit the subscribe button you will win this oil catch can this is the one i'm going to get for the giveaway um, first person that complains that you know about this catch can and particularly well you're just disqualified right a free catch can is the best price you're going to get it's a mishimoto it's got the micron filter the baffle it's a decent size you know probably don't have to change it out once every six thousand miles that's when it's going to get full me on the other hand of course i'm going to be checking it every two thousand miles i'm definitely going to check it in one thousand miles at first i just want to see how much it catches so it's going to be good peace of mind right until we get to the water methanol injection that's when things are going to get awesome i believe it's map eight again comment down below if you're running water meth with the jb4 and let us know what kind of performance gains you're getting and how it runs just tell me all about it that's going to pretty much wrap it up for this one i appreciate you guys watching and i'll catch you in the comments all right peace